Hello, my name is Eleanor O, oh, and I'm a civil engineer working in the water sector. As a civil engineer, um, we do a range of different things, mainly involving something called infrastructure, which is all the things that connect us in our urban environments, whether that be transport or water or energy. Um, there's a range of different parts to civil engineering. But as I say, I work in water and that involves lots of different things. Um, it involves creating things, building things, designing things. There's lots of different skills that are needed. Organization, um, the climate emergency. During an average working day, I might be doing a range of different things. I might be outside on site, um, speaking to people who are constructing parts of my project, or it could be a, a new site that I need to look at to see what the what the context looks like. I might be um, designing things and modeling things using the computer. I might be um, drawing things and communicating ideas. And I'm often meeting with lots of different stakeholders to discuss ideas and agree activities. My favourite subject at school was geography, but to be honest, I enjoyed lots of different subjects, whether that be languages, mathematics, science, um, and I really find a career in civil engineering incredibly fulfilling because it enables me to use lots of different skills um, that I first developed in, in school, but now I've developed further through um, my university education and subsequently through working in industry. My career pathway started um, with a degree in civil and environmental engineering. I felt like it um, linked together lots of different interests that I had. I studied um, mathematics, physics, chemistry and geography for my A-levels. People have a you know, slightly different backgrounds, but mainly maths and physics for studying engineering. And then after that, I gained a graduate position in a consultancy. Um, where you're mainly working in the office um, designing things and researching things rather than being on site. But there's lots of different jobs in civil engineering and I think that's what I really enjoy about it is that um, I may have started in this place but you can take it in many different directions and um, my main aim was to do a job that could help people and the environment and um, I found civil engineering to really fulfil that ambition. As part of my work I've worked on lots of different projects all over the world and these um, projects have included trying to improve the management of surface water, so that's water that's running across the ground in the Rohingya refugee camps in Bangladesh. I also did a summer placement while I was at university in Jamaica, where I helped design a wastewater treatment plant for a factory. Um, and I've also worked in the UK um, on redevelopment projects in central London, um, and also in the modelling of, of flood risk. I have also spent a year in Hong Kong where I lived and worked there and um, got involved in one of their first sustainable drainage projects and that was um, implementing um, nature-based solutions, so using the attributes that nature naturally has to solve um, water engineering problems and that's something that really excites me. Lots of different people have inspired me throughout my career and I'm really grateful to all of those people. Um, one person in particular um, helped me realise that civil engineering wasn't just about building stuff and that you could actually link together other interests that you had um, to better the infrastructure that you designed. So in his case, um, he was really passionate about fishing and um, designed fish passes to help um, fish go upstream and um, therefore helping restore the, the natural ecosystem, even when infrastructure like weirs across rivers were being built. I could see that um, civil engineering was just, you know, could be so broad um, and, you know, you can work in transport, you can work in energy, water. Um, there's such a, an array of different things that you can do and also um, I love working with lots of different other professionals like planners, um, architects, social scientists along the way. It's a really exciting industry um, that you can really learn and grow in. 
To be successful in civil engineering, I found um, that a key skill has been persistence. So like, do reach out to people, do try and get in touch with people that are doing interesting things that you might like to work on um, and try and get uh, work experience wherever you can. One of my mottos for my career has been trying to find something that marries the um, things that I enjoy most with um, what the planet needs most. So I really wish you all the best in your future career and I hope you find something that you're really passionate about. <laughs>